Namaste guys, Jen Pastel up here. I'm still wearing my love sign. I just took it off for a moment to show you this shirt Cassandra Kirwan gave me. Sorry, not sorry. Um, she's been on many retreats with me. Fabulous human gave me this shirt because I read an essay about this idea of uh, how we need to stop apologizing last year. Also with the love sign, my friend yoga girl, Rachel Brayton is going to wear it when I'm done my two weeks and then we're going to pass it on. So please post below who you think should get the love sign. This is such an exciting challenge. You want us to wear it for two weeks. Anyway, um, the idea of, of this incessant apologizing, I've talked about it before and I'll talk about it again. And I talk about it in my workshops because I think it's tremendously important. Um, and I wrote an essay about it and uh, I have a rule in my workshops besides if you fall in a yoga pose, you must laugh. And that is, um, there's no apologizing. There's a lot of shine out loud, no apologizing unless you kick someone in the head, then apologize. You know, and, and, and when we become aware of it, we notice that we start to do that, right? Or I do, I watch, especially women, we start to get vulnerable or have an emotion or it's a constant apologizing. Or if you ask for what you want and then apologizing or apologizing for whatever it may be. Well, I refuse to apologize. I'm not gonna apologize for who I am, for my writing. Yes, if I hurt someone, I'll apologize. I'm not suggesting to walk around without ever saying I'm sorry, that's bullshit. But what are you apologizing for? I'd love to hear below what you're done apologizing for. Today, I will not apologize for who I am, for my videos. Even though yesterday someone said, uh, I'm an insane idiot and I need therapy. I'm not gonna apologize. Um, but if you wanna treat me to therapy, that'd be really cool. I'd love to sit down and have a session, and just get some stuff out. So let me know. Um, I live in LA though, so the person has to live in LA. I wrote an essay, like I said, about the whole um, apologizing thing because it really was on my mind. I was thinking about an incident that I talked about in the piece where I was in a cafe with a friend and a man I know walked in and said, damn, look at those things, meaning, and he grabbed my boob. And I was shocked. And then he shook his hand away and we talked and he left and I kind of apologized for him and made up excuses for him and said, that's just the way he is. And, you know, and, and my friend was shocked. And, why didn't I say anything in the moment? Why didn't I say, get your hand off me? This is my body. Instead, I apologized for him, and so I really started thinking about this phenomenon. I apologized for taking up space in the world, for being who we are. Um, and I started thinking about this idea of voicelessness. I remembered when I was 18, I had a guy give me a massage who offered, and it was for free, and the whole thing was shady, and he was inappropriate with me. And he touched me in ways that were um, terrible. And I didn't trust myself enough to know I had never had a massage. It was my first one. Is this right? Is this not even though my gut? I knew it wasn't. And then finally, when he got too close to my um, private areas, I finally made him leave. And I never said anything. I never reported it. And I just doubted myself and I stayed quiet. And then I found out he ended up going to jail. And I just thought about all these instances I'm in the yoga studio. I feel like someone's going to walk in and just see me talking to myself. I'm not sorry. Um, I thought about all these instances where I have stayed quiet or have, I have apologized, and I'm done. I'm done. So post below what, you're, what you are done apologizing for. Today, I will not apologize for my weight, for the fact that I openly struggle with depression, for my voice, even though I got made fun of as a kid and got called a smirk because I had terrible stuff with my ears and my nose. I will not apologize for being a woman. I will not apologize for being a dork. I will not apologize for any of it. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. So post below what you are done apologizing for. And, and let's really be mindful of this tendency to apologize for taking up space. I say we take up space. I say we take up so much space. Just keep taking up space with who you are. I love you. I'm going to Seattle tomorrow for workshops. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I only have a couple spots left for my Tuscany retreat. And I'm counting down the days to drink Chianti in Tuscany, and uh, that's it. I love you. Have a great, great day.